like harlots from their harlotry. Parents, 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 parents. This is a message for the parents tonight. Train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get older, they will not depart from it. Parents, when we train up our children at Disney, and we train up our children, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, and, and, and Nickelodeon, and all the wickedness of the world, Look what it produces. Look what Disney produces, parents. Look at Miley Cyrus. Look how all these young girls are dressing tonight. Parents, parents, please, train up your children in the way they should go. Train them up in the Lord. Train them up in Jesus Christ. Don't train your children. Parents, do not train your children up in Disney. Do not train your children up in Nickelodeon. And in Beyonce, Selena Gomez. Yeah, yeah. Selena Gomez did not die on the cross for your sins. Selena Gomez did not die on the cross for your sins. Because Jesus Christ saved this young man. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ brought this man out of homosexuality, bisexuality. It's homosexuality. Let's just put it dry. If a man sleeps with a man, he's a homosexual. There's, there's no such thing as bisexuality. This man was saved from homosexuality. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. That's the delivery power of your life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ died on the cross to set us free from our sins. Amen. Jesus Christ died on the cross to set us free yes. from being in bondage to Selena Gomez. Bringing our young children to Selena Gomez. All of our young five-year-olds, six-year-olds wear shorts that are so short you would think they were daisy dudes. Hallelujah. Praise God for Jesus Christ who can set what? souls free, who can deliver people from their sins. Hey. Yes. Selena Gomez did not die on the cross for your, for, for your sins. She did not die for your soul. Only Jesus Christ did. Disney. Disney. Which promotes magic and witchcraft. Wizardry, sorcery. This is what Disney promotes. The Bible forbids this. The Bible forbids magic and witchcraft and sorcery and consulting with familiar spirits. Selena Gomez admitted on live TV on the Jimmy Fallon show that she has an app on her phone where she basically consults with familiar spirits. She said it's an app to find ghosts, but it's actually what they call consulting with familiar spirits. And this is what, this is what Selena Gomez is doing on national television. Jimmy and it's, it's no big deal. Party bus for children. Ha, ha, ha. We all laugh and make jokes about consulting with familiar spirits. When the Bible, the Lord God, Jesus Christ Himself, forbids consulting with familiar spirits. Forbids, forbids necromancy, consulting with the dead. The Word of God forbids partaking in magic and witchcraft and, and sorcery. The Bible forbids all this. But see, Disney, Disney, and, and, the, and the ilk that come out of Disney, that which is produced from Disney, they promote this. Yep. The show Selena Gomez was on, Wizards of Waverly Place. Wizards. Hmm. Look at most of the movies Disney makes. It's all about magic. It's all about wizardry. It's all about sorcery. It's all about witchcraft. And those that partake in witchcraft, the Bible says this, not me. I'm not coming from the book of opinions. The word of God says, those that partake in witchcraft shall not, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And that's what Disney promotes. And this is what we're training our young children up under. We're training our young children up under Disney and Nickelodeon. Which is full. Nickelodeon and Disney is just full, full of occult and sexual subliminal messaging in their movies and in their television programming. Disney. And this is what we set our kids under. This is what we train our children up under. It's Disney. Selena Gomez. Demi Lovato. Uh, the Jonas Brothers. Yes, Demi Lovato will be here in a few weeks. And Lord willing, we will be here for the Demi Lovato and Nick Jonas concert. To, to rebuke that wickedness, to rebuke that spirit of witchcraft, that spirit of, uh, of Jezebel, which is what Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato, Beyonce, Rihanna, so on and so forth, that's what they promote. They promote that Jezebel spirit. It's a spirit, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness in this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6.12. 
We wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is a battle for your soul. This is a battle for your mind, but ultimately for your soul. When it all boils down at the end of the day, whether it's Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, whatever have you, it's all a battle for your soul. It's all about are you going to heaven or hell? Are you going to surrender your life to Christ or are you going to surrender your life to the Antichrist? Disney did not die on the cross for your sins. Selena Gomez did not die on the cross for your sins. Disney is the most wicked abomination on this earth right now. The Disney Channel, the Disney conglomerate, Disney as a whole promotes nothing but rebellion against spirits, witchcraft, magic, wizardry, sorcery. That's what Disney promotes. And parents are training their children up under Disney. Parents, please, stop sitting your children under Disney. Disney is wicked. Disney is promotes nothing but pedophilia. What? Yes, Disney promotes pedophilia. What? Yes, it does. Yes, it does promote pedophilia. Look how young girls are dressing. You, who, who's, make, who's making all these short clothing? Who makes all this? Wicked pedophiles, that's who. Wicked pedophiles, that's who makes all the short clothing. Who said it was okay for a 10-year-old to go out in public showing off her thighs? You said it was okay? Well, Lord, rebuke you. Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they grow older, they will not depart from it. If you train up your child in the way of dressing like a harlot, then you're training your child up to become a prostitute. The Word of God says, parents, the Word of God says in the book of Leviticus 19.29, parents, parents, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Parents, do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. When you let your daughter go out in public, dress wearing basically nothing, you're prostituting your daughter. You're saying, hey, it's okay. You're open for business. That's what you're saying, parents. Parents, train up your children in the way they should go. Train them up in the Word of God. Train them up in Jesus Christ. Not in Disney. Not in fornication. Not in nakedness. The thigh, the, the, according to God's standards, not my standards, God's standards, the thigh is considered nakedness. So when we got our young girls out here showing off their thighs, that is biblically naked. We have your young girls out here showing off their cleavage, showing their belly buttons off. That is biblically naked. Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they grow older, they will not depart from it. Do not train your children up in Disney. Please, parents, I implore you. Look into these matters for yourself. I could offer you many of good sermons that were done on Disney and the wickedness behind Disney. The Magic Kingdom or God's Kingdom? Google Jason Cooley and his and his sermon he did on Disney Channel. And, and, and the magic it's called uh, the Magic Kingdom or God's Kingdom. Google, Google Disney Exposed. You will get your boat loaded on information on Disney, and this is what we're setting our children up under. It's not even just about Selena Gomez, because I understand Selena Gomez, she's under mind control. She know not what she do. Lord, forgive her, for she know not what she do. But my, my beef is with Disney themselves, because Disney, Disney knows what they're doing. Disney knows what they're doing. Walt Disney himself was a 33rd degree Freemason. A 33rd degree Freemason. A pedophile. Walt Disney was a pedophile. No, he wasn't. He had 80 like me. Whatever that means. He had ADD. Oh, I'm sure he had ADD a lot. Walt Disney was a wicked pedophile. When you go back and you watch some of Disney's old movies, look at Fantasia. Fantasia had nudity in it. Fantasia had nudity in it. 1940 that movie came out. 1940. 76 years ago Fantasia came out. And this is what Disney was promoting back then. And fast forward to today, and this is what Disney promotes today. You want to see the effects of Disney? Disney on the brain? Just take a good look at Miley Cyrus. 
you, 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 you hear about you hear about a person's brain and, and then a person's brain on drugs, a before and after of a person. Well, here's a person before Disney, and here's a person after Disney. Just look at Miley Cyrus. You have a sweet young little innocent girl, you know, five years old, pigtails, long dress, and then fast forward, and after Disney, here you got a girl running around on stage, naked, playing with herself, gyrating on a married man. Gyrating on a married, a married man, and she don't even know if she's a boy or a girl, and she don't even know if she likes boys or girls. But this is what Disney produces. This is what the Disney Channel. This is what Walt Disney. This is what the whole Disney conglomerate produces. It produces nothing but wicked abominations. Parents, please, thank you for letting your daughters and your boys watch Disney. Please, parents, get, throw the TV out. Throw the TV out. Get rid of Disney. Get rid of all your Disney propaganda paraphernalia. And please, turn to Jesus Christ. Quit setting up these idols to your children. Quit selling your children over. Quit, quit sacrificing your children over to Molech. Sacrificing them. That's what parents are doing. That's what parents are doing. They're prostituting their daughters and sacrificing them on the altar of Molech. That altar of Molech, which is now known as Disney. Parents, please, I implore you, train up a child in the way they should go. Train them up in the Lord. Don't train them up in Disney. Don't train them up in Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and Miley Cyrus the virus. Players, please. Players, please. Lord, rebuke that. Lord, rebuke that spirit of rebellion. That's what Disney promotes. That's what Disney promotes. You watch all these Disney shows, the parents are deemed as being stupid. The parents on these shows are deemed as basically being mentally retarded. And the kids, they know it all. The kids, they know it all. That's what Disney promotes. Disney promotes the children to be rebellious towards their parents. And, and how do we rebel against our parents? Well, we dress half naked. We send we send guys uh, Snapchat pictures and sexting pictures of ourselves half naked or sometimes even naked. That's what that's what that's what Disney promotes. That's what this rebellion promotes. Disney themselves they have a week. A whole week called Gay Days at Disney. Gay Days! Gay Days at Disney. So, so parents can take their children down to Disney, and guess what? You're going to see men making out with men. Women making out with men are women. Now that's very appropriate for children to see, right? Women making out with women and men making out with men. Half of Disney's employees, half of Disney's employees are homosexuals. Now again, with that being said, why are they homosexuals? Because of pedophilia. Pedophilia begets more pedophilia, and pedophilia also begets homosexuality. So when, 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 when these older men in their suits are molesting these young boys and girls, guess what ends up happening later in life? They become over-sexualized, mm -hmm. they dress like they're harlots, they dress like they're prostitutes, they dress like they are whores. Yes, I said the uh, infamous W word, whores. Sorry, parents. I know the truth offends. I know the truth offends, parents. But somebody's got to tell you this because your preachers someday at the lukewarm churches you go to, they are not preaching this. They do not preach against Disney. They do not preach against that wicked abomination known as Disney and the Disney Channel. And all their fake false images, all their false gods, all their goddess worship that Disney promotes with Cinderella and Snow White, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast? That's bestiality. Beauty and the Beast promotes bestiality. What in the world is going on with Disney? Oh, let me tell you, it's because Disney is controlled by Satan. Disney is an abomination, and parents are just letting their children sit up under Disney, and everything is just all the same. You want to see what Disney promotes? Look how all these young girls are dressed out here tonight. This is what Disney promotes. And parents are allowed, and parents are allowed. My beef is not with the children. My beef is with the parents. Parents, you need a man up 
and quit letting your daughters dress like harlots. You need a man up and quit training your children up with Disney. And submit and surrender unto the Lord Jesus Christ because he will set you free from all that. That's right. He will set you free from all that. You do not have to submit unto and be in bondage unto the Selena Gomez of the world. Unto the Miley Cypresses of the world, the Beyonce's of the world. It all seems like all fun and good right now, right? You know, we went in there and we lifted our hands up. Woo! So, well, that same praise and worship and adoration is only meant for one. And that is that one true God. That's who that praise and worship is meant for. Yes, I'm still here because you're going to hear this. Your parents are going to hear this. And better yet, better yet, I pray your teachers at school hear this too. Because your teachers, they need to be rebuked as well. Teachers at school, in the school system, setting these children up under Disney. Train the kids up at Disney. I remember when I was in elementary school, and they were forcing us, forcing us to sing Disney songs. I hated it. I hated it as a child, being forced to sing Disney songs. I hated that wicked garbage, and I hate it even more today with the righteous anger, the anger of God. Watch your mouth, young lady. Please watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. That's wicked. And that's, and that's again, that's that rebellious spirit that Disney promotes. That's that rebellious spirit that Disney promotes. Hey, we're 15 years old and we can run around and they cuss a grown man out. Come on, are you serious? We'll rebuke Disney. We'll rebuke Selena Gomez and that Jezebel spirit working through her. We'll rebuke Walt Disney. We'll rebuke this country. This ungodly country, this modern day Babylon, that is modern day Antichrist system. Lord of Boo, Selena Gomez, and her necromancy, and her consulting with the familiar spirits. Lord rebuke Disney and all their magic and witchcraft and wizardry and sorcery. Parents, please repent for sitting your daughters and your children up under Disney. Parents, repent for that. The Bible says in Proverbs 22 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he grows older, he will not depart from it. If we train our children up under Disney, if we train our children up under that, wash your mouth. Who of you that evil spirit? Out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaketh. And we see what's in your heart, man. We see what's in your heart. Nothing but abomination, nothing but wickedness. Yeah, the demons come out. The demons come out in flocks, right? Well, guess what? My God is stronger than your God. I have legions, I have legions of God's angels camped out round about me. There are many more of us than there are of you. Remember that. Remember that. More than you, Dizzy. Please put this on Facebook, put it on YouTube, put it on Snapchat, Instagram, Google, whatever you want to put it on, put it on there. The Lord rebuke Disney. And parents, train up your children in the way they should go. Train them up in Jesus Christ, not in Disney. Not in Selena Gomez, not in Miley Cyrus the virus. Train them up. Train them up in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we train our children up in Disney, when we train them up in Disney, it's, it's, there's no question why all these young girls, why all these young girls are out here wearing skimpy little shorts, skimpy little dresses, 15 years old, 12 years old. That's, that's wicked. That is wicked. That is the spirit of pedophilia right there. That is the spirit of pedophilia. Because mothers, mothers, you should know. You should know. There's many, many, many old men out here gazing at your young, prepubescent daughters. Your prepubescent daughters. Yep. And you have, you are selling them out. You are saying, hey, it's okay for these men to Google them and Google them and Google them and so on and so forth. And again, this is the spirit of Disney. This is the spirit of witchcraft. And guess what? Those who partake in witchcraft shall not and will not inherit the kingdom of God. Not my words. I'm not coming from the book of opinions. I'm coming from the King James Bible. Parents, repent. Repent, parents, of allowing your daughters to dress like harlots. Repent, parents. Leviticus 19.29. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Cause her to be a whore. Parents, do not prostitute your daughter. Why are you out here prostituting? 
prostituting your daughters, parents? Why are you prostituting your daughters? Why are you selling them out to Disney? Why are you selling them out to Selena Gomez? Paris, do you not have common sense? Do you not have common sense, parents? Seriously. Seriously. We have our daughters coming out here half naked? Really? 10 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old. And we'll say, hey, it's okay, it's okay. Disney does it, right? Disney says it's okay, because Disney dictates how we allow our daughters to dress, how we allow them to act. That's what Disney does. That's why Disney is our babysitter. Yes, Disney is these children's babysitters. It is so wicked. Nowadays. These kids, they don't have any respect for authority. They don't have any respect for adults. That's why that young 15 year old girl busts us out. Because they have no respect. If they actually have respect, they would know, they would know how to talk to adults. So why rebuke the spirit of Disney? Yes, yes. Repent of that wickedness known as Disney. Parents, train up your children in the way they should go. Train them up, parents. Train them up. Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way he should go. When he goes over, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. So when we train our children up in Disney, and we train our children up in the ways of the world, when we train our children up to be like Selena Gomez, yes, to be like Beyonce, you know what I mean? like her. to be I like Rihanna, like when we train our children up like that, we are training our children up to become adults. We are training our children up and saying, hey children, it's okay to be a prostitute. Hey children, it's okay, I'm prostituting you myself. That's what the parents are doing. The parents, Lord rebuke you. Lord rebuke you, parents. Lord rebuke you. Parents, you guys need to grow some cojones. Grow some cojones with your children. Quit letting your children walk all over you. Who runs that show? Is it the parents or is it the kids? Parents bringing their daughters. We see parents just dropping their daughters off. Young little girls dropping their daughters off. Here you go. Go off in there. We go in there and Selena Gomez talking about how she can't keep her hands to herself. And that's what we're letting our daughters listen to? Do you not know what those lyrics mean? Really? Seriously, parents. I mean, come on. She says, can't keep my hands to myself while she's rubbing all over herself in the video. And this is what you let your daughters listen to? Are you kidding me? I mean, it, that, where's the common sense? I mean, have we just lost all She's common Satan. sense, parents? I love Satan. Me too. I love Satan. I love Satan. Because you don't love Jesus Christ, that's for sure. Obviously, you don't. With a mouth like that, we see what's in your heart, man. Parents. Please train up your children the way they should go. Do not train your children up in Disney. Do not train your children up in Selena Gomez. Train them up in the way they should go. Train them up in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ would not have your girls running around dressing like harlots. And that's what most of these young ladies are here dressed like tonight. And you guys are going to mock the preaching. You're going to scoff. Ha ha ha. This guy don't know what he's talking about. Okay. And they, they, they admit their whores. Wow. Wow. And they laugh. They think it's funny. They think it's funny to say they're whores. Well, hey, if it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, and it talks like a duck, it must be a duck, right? So if it dresses like a prostitute, it talks like a prostitute, and it acts like a prostitute, it must be a prostitute, I assume. I mean, that's just how it is. So parents, train your children up in the way they should go. Don't sell them out to Disney. Don't sell them out to this false idol, these false goddess worships like Selena Gomez. Because that's all this is. This is false goddess worship. This is idol worship. And, it's and they're going to sit here and they're going to scoff and they're going to mock, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to hear it in a few weeks at Demi Lovato. And I pray if I see any of you at Demi Lovato, they're going to hear this message again. You're going to hear this message again at Demi Lovato. That's awesome. That's very nice. That's so we're going to repent of training your children up. Repent of training your children up at Disney. Serena Gomez.
Jesus did not die on the cross for your sins. Demi Lovato did not die on the cross for your sins. Look at Selena Gomez in his t shirts with one eye symbolism. Yes, the one eye symbolism. Showing who her affiliation is. Selena Gomez's affiliation is with her god, the god named Satan, Lucifer. That's who she's affiliated with. And you guys mock, and you scoff, and, and you walk. And you And that's, that's a perfect example of a parent's training. When you have a young girl like that cussing a grown man out. Cussing a grown man out. Well, little does she know, I have my first amendment. And man, you cannot have my first amendment. You guys have the first amendment to come out here dressed half naked. We have the first amendment to come out here and preach against them. Somebody needs you. You're weak. You're weak pastors. You're spineless pastors. are not doing it. Your spineless pastors on Sunday are not doing it. Because they're all a bunch of weak, weak, weak government controlled pastors. They don't care about your soul. All they care about is your checks. Keep writing that check out to them. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care if you go to hell. They don't care. All they want to do is keep feeding their ego and keep feeding their bank account. They don't care two craps about your soul. But you know what? The three of us care enough to be out here. The three of us care enough to be out here to say this. Poor Rebuke Disney. Rebuke Disney. And I'll say it loud and I'll say it proud. Rebuke Disney. Disney is nothing but a wicked abomination from the pit of hell. Walt Disney, Walt Disney himself was a pedophile. The founder of Disney, the creator, is a pedophile. And I love how they try to stop the preaching, but guess what? It's in one ear, not the other, man. It's in one ear, not the other. I'm going to keep preaching against Disney because this is what Disney promotes. This is what Disney produces. It produces young girls who cuss out grown men. It produces trash and filth like Miley Cyrus running around half naked, not knowing if she's a boy or a girl. And she goes on stage and she gyrates on a grown man who's married. Miley Cyrus. And this is what we let our kids sit up under. This is what we let our children sit up They all serve the same God. It's not the God Jesus Christ. You must believe that. It's the God of this world, that Luciferian God, that promotes, hey, it's okay, girls. Run around half naked. We don't care if you're 12 or 15. It don't matter. We don't care. This is a wicked abomination. And these parents, these parents need to be slapped. Seriously, these parents need to be slapped. We're even acting like this is okay. Where's the true parents at? Where's the real parenting at? Parents right here, real parents. The parenting in this country sucks. I'm sorry, but it sucks. I'm gonna make it out of this parent, this parenting here is a bunch of weak spine, weak mind, limp wristed parents who have no authority anymore over their children. They let their children do whatever they want. Hey children, go out the house and show your thighs off. Hey children, go out the house and show your cleavage off. Hey children, go out the house and show your belly buttons off. Hey children, you know what? Even better yet, we're gonna give you a cell phone so you can sit here. And say, guys, take pictures of yourselves. That's what the parents are saying is okay. That's what the parents are doing. This parenting sucks. I'm sorry. Most of your parents out here tonight, you're weak. You're very weak. You're very weak. Lord rebuke you, parents. Lord rebuke you, parents. You're an awesome mom sending your kids to the altar of murder like known as Selena Gomez to Phillips Arena. Yeah, real awesome parenting. Real awesome parenting. That's wonderful parenting. And when your daughter, when your daughter comes home, at the age of 15 and says, hey mom, I'm pregnant, I need an abortion, you're going to sit there and you're going to clap and you're going to cheer. You parents are going to sit there and clap and cheer when your daughter comes home and says, hey parents, I need to get an abortion. Because that's what this kind of wicked garbage promotes. That's what this 
picking garbage for votes. And as they all cheer on their God, as they all cheer on who they truly worship, I bet they don't scream and cheer out Jesus' name like that, do they? Do they sit there in church and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? No, they don't. But they'll sure call out to Selena. They'll sure cuss the preacher out, won't they? You don't love Jesus. You don't love Jesus. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't love Jesus. You don't love Jesus. You tell a tree by its fruit, right? Your fruit does not say you love Jesus. I'm sorry, it doesn't. That's not, not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Maybe the Jesus you made up in your mind. Maybe that Jesus. Maybe that feel good hippie Jesus, right? Well, that Jesus is not the real Jesus. I'm sorry, you pray to Mary. Uh, praying to Mary does not save you. Praying to Mary does not save you. I'm sorry. Praying to Mary does not save you. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that's Jesus Christ. Not Mary. Mary didn't die on the cross for your sins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And they can, they can channel that God is love stuff. Yeah, if God is love, God also must hate, right? And God has what they call a righteous hatred or righteous anger. And for those who God loves, word of God, those who God loves, he also chastises. And if you're without chastisement, that means you're a bastard. And if you're a bastard, that means you're not his son. You're not his son. If you're a bastard, you're not his son. I'm sorry. Go hard! I'm sorry. If you're a bastard, you're not the son of God. You're a child of the devil. You're a child, you're a children of disobedience. And that's what I see out here tonight. I see nothing but disobedience. Disobedience. Disobedient parents and disobedient children. That's what I see. And Lord rebuke that spirit. Lord rebuke that spirit. Parents who don't know how to raise and train their children. These parents, they really need to get it together on how to train their children, how to raise their children. Let's go, Because we see. We see what the world was 20 years ago. Now we fast forward and see what it is today. So imagine another 20 years what it's going to be like. You're going to see grown men walking around with their girlfriend who's seven years old. You're going to see grown men and women walking around with animals, which is considered their spouse.